Welcome to my 2023 Denver Broncos year in review. And obviously, for the eighth straight year, the season did not play out as we wanted it to. Missing the playoffs for the eighth straight year, which is still the second longest active drought in the league, just behind the Jets at 13. And then, of course, seventh straight losing season. Our last winning season was in 2016, where we went 9-7. and seven. So yeah, disappointing season, definitely a disappointing season, but definitely a step in the right direction. We were 5-12 and 12 last year, and we improved to 8-9 and nine this year. So yeah, although, like I said, another losing season, but it's still a step in the right direction because it's a three-game improvement. And then, of course, Russell Wilson, he played a lot better this year before we benched him for financial reasons. Honestly, this might actually be his last season as a Bronco. And I've pretty much prepared for that reality. As much as I hate to say it, I, I want us to keep Russ. But I've pretty much accepted the reality that this might be his last season for us and that Sean Payton clearly does not get along with him at all. And it's clear that Jared Stidham, Jared Stidham is fucking ass, dude. So, he's definitely not QB1 next year. But yeah, of course, we started 1-5. and five. That included us getting blown out 70-20 to 20 to the Miami Dolphins. And there were so many winnable games that we lost and they came back to haunt us. And... And as a result, we missed the playoffs. So obviously, the first game against the Raiders, that was very winnable, but we got fucked by penalties. And our defense couldn't, couldn't stop shit in the fourth quarter. And I was at that game. Then, of course, we blew a 21-3 lead to the Redskins, of all teams. And then... We lost to the fucking Jets in some embarrassing ass fashion. Like, they only scored one offensive touchdown against us. And the touchdown that sealed the game for them was a defensive touchdown. So, yeah, that was a very winnable game that we lost. And those three games that I mentioned definitely came back to bite us in the ass. But hey, it is whatever. We won five in a row, which is definitely a step in the right direction. We finally beat the Chiefs after eight years. After 16 straight losses, we finally beat the Chiefs. So I'll definitely take that. That's basically our Super Bowl. That's basically our Super Bowl because of how long it took us to finally beat those fuckers. But of course, the Raiders' winning streak against us is still intact. They've won eight in a row against us now. And, of course, Raiders fans, they treat that as their Super Bowl like they always do. But, anyways. We finished second in the division. Well, tied for second with the Raiders at 8-9. and nine. But, of course, since the Raiders have the tiebreaker, we finished third, actually. We finished third. But, yeah. Definitely a step in the right direction. We didn't finish last this year, so yeah, after finishing last each of the last three years. So yeah, although it was a very disappointing season, it was definitely a step in the right direction. Of course, Cortland Sutton was our best receiver. He had like 772 yards, 10 touchdown catches. I think he had like somewhere in like the 50s or something. Of course, Javante Williams was the leading rusher with over 700 yards. Forgot how many to be specific. Whew. I'd say the team MVP this season is definitely Cortland Sutton, honestly. Because he was without a doubt the reason why the Broncos won five in a row in the first place. Because he just could not stop catching touchdown passes. And he, he made some amazing ones at that. So yeah, he's definitely the season MVP. But anyways, it's your boy SnakeB69 checking the fuck upon out of here. Let's go Broncos. We'll see y'all next year. 
and we'll probably see another QB again. If we draft a QB, I want Michael Penix. 